Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In this video, we will learn about our most important tool of stages. This is where the behind the scenes magic happens. The magic of the progressive view timeline is created using the multipoint alignment tool. We have our project loaded and have selected the synchronize tab. We click the stages radio button in the top menu bar to open a list of stages and their components we have already added in the manager. In this project, we have three stages, two with Matterport 360 showcases and one with the 3D Matterpack. Clicking the sweeps icon on the first and second scan turns the sweep spheres on in those components. As you can see, they are not in alignment in any way. They are two different scans taken at different times of the same facility. You can see as I click the icon on one component, it is not aligned with the other. In stage 3, we have loaded the Matterpack OBJ model. Let's begin alignment by selecting the Matterpack model. I click on our toolbar on the upper left side of the screen and choose the rotation icon. I will rotate it minus 90 or 270 degrees, either is the same, to orient it correctly with our scene canvas. Since no components have been synchronized yet, we need to select a component as our initial reference object. I click the checkbox on the right side of the component in the stages list box. Click the save button on the top right bar. Now this component is available in the inspector tab as a reference object. Now it's time to move the Matterport 360 showcases to align with the 3D model. We will use the multipoint alignment tool from the tools menu on the upper left hand side of the screen. The multipoint alignment tool is the only tool you can use to align the Matterport 360 showcase components. All 2D and 3D models and images can be moved and rotated with the appropriate tool selected or by dragging on the screen. When aligning, the overall concept is to set three specific coordinate points in the selected component space that are also available in the reference model. Best practice is to select points at the extreme boundaries of the component. This will increase the alignment accuracy. Let's align one of the 360 Matterport showcases with the 3D model we selected earlier as the reference. We will select and load the Stage 1 360 Matterport. Then select the multipoint tool from the toolbox. As you can see in the wizard box, Step 1, the selected component needs three points to be located. You can see we have selected the Scan 1 component in the wizard. I navigate to a location to place the first point. Then I click on 1A in the tool. The cursor changes to a target. I place the target at my preferred point. I continue by navigating to my next choice of location. Once there, I click 1B and place the point target. Time for a pro tip. If you inadvertently place your target point at a place you did not want to or intend for it to be, simply re-click on the specific point in the wizard box and reselect that point. So now we have set three points in our selected component. Time to select step two in the wizard. In the drop down selection box for the reference component in step two, we only have one component available that we previously selected with the synchronized checkbox. We select that component as our reference model. As in the previous step, we navigate, or in this case, fly into that model. Another pro tip. If you first click any point in the wizard box of the reference component, a mini window opens just below the wizard, showing you the location of the corresponding point that you chose in step one synchronization. You can expand this mini window for a larger view, then navigate to the coordinating location, reselect the step two reference point, then set the actual sync location point. Now, continue to follow the same steps for each of the other two points. Now that we have defined both sets of points with all lights lit on the dashboard, click on the confirm button in the wizard. Let's take a look by clicking on the sweeps icons. We can now see the sweeps. Stage two remains unsynchronized. We see the stage one component scan positions are aligned within the 3D model geometry. Another pro tip. An easy way to check alignment is to note the location of the scans in doorways between rooms. This is best practice for actually completing scans and a quick way to assess basic alignment. 
We now have two components in synchronization. Check the appropriate box to the right of the synchronized component in the stages component list. This will enable that component to be viewed in the inspector mode, as well as enable it to be used as a reference model for further synchronization. Be sure to click the Save button in the upper right corner. Now, we will align Scan 2 with Scan 1. Select Scan 2, our Work in Progress Scan. Let's find similar points as before, since they seem to work well. Now select your preferred three alignment points in Step 1. Go to Step 2. Select a reference component. Let's select Scan 1 as our reference component. We follow the same workflow we used in the first synchronization exercise. Once we have picked all points with red and green lights lit, we can confirm the synchronization wizard. And we again click Save in the upper right corner of the interface. Another pro tip, if you do not save and you try to leave the interface, you will be presented with a warning to save. Okay, let's go take a look what we've been doing. I'll click the sweeps icon for scan 1. You can see the sweeps locations in the 3D model. This is what we had completed earlier. Now I can click on scan 2 sweeps icon. Yes, now they are located within the 3D geometry along with the scan 1 sweeps. I can click the eyeball icon on the 3D model to turn it on and off. We can see everything is within the same geometric footprint. Now, we can click the Synchronized Indicator checkbox, which will expose this component to the inspector and our timeline. Let's again click Save for all of this. Now we can go to the Inspector. Click the Inspector tab in the upper right menu area. Now we can see each of the three stages of our project has synchronized components. We only have a single component in each stage for now. Two are Matterport 360 showcases and one is a 3D model. Let's select the 3D model to view. Now we will navigate into one of our spaces. We can click on the 360 in Stage 2. We can click on the 360 in Stage 1. Each time we change the stage or component we are viewing, we maintain our viewpoint location and angle. Congratulations! You are now highly skilled in SimLab's Stages Alignment Tool. Happy synchronizing!